Hi, I'm Stacy, and this is Practical ESL. Today, we're still looking at modeling different pieces of the lesson on the history of Plato. And I've just broken it up into small pieces so you can kind of see what each of those looks like. And then I kind of talk about why I did some of the things I did and hopefully show you some ideas that you could use with some of your lessons. So today I'm going to talk about when we move further into having a timeline and kind of what that timeline looks like in relation to the text and what I was hoping for the students to learn from it. So I'm going to first show you the video and then I'll give you a little bit of commentary on that when we're done. Here we go. So what you're looking for, you have five places. One, two, three, four, five. So you need to tell me the five most important things from here that would go in here, okay? So like maybe the first one, I would say um, homes used to be heated by coal, right? The coal heated homes. Mm -hmm. That was maybe number one. And then what did we need? And then what happened? And then, and finally, okay, so you can only have five things to tell me the most important. Okay? Go. Okay? And then look and tell me what do you think the second one would be? that rebranded is the important word, right? It's our rebranded, rebranded. Re so we want to use that word. Can you use the word? <laughs> All right, so hopefully you notice a few different things. One is that I'm not just going to tell them what to do and leave them alone. I'm going to walk around and I can check what they're writing on the iPad because I'm using a Pear Deck and I can see the dashboard on my second device, which was my iPad at the time. So I can use that to change the screen that's changing what, the, what part of the slide is being projected to them. But also I can use that to see their work. And that's in another video if you want to see how to do that. I think that is really, really helpful to see what they're doing in real time and be able to adjust your lesson accordingly. The other thing is that I'm going to check on them. I'm going to give them, like, encourage them, but also, um, like, one of them had this great thing that she was writing, and then I just wanted her to also use the vocabulary word that we had done. And so I'm going to remind her of what that was, that rebranded, and then have her use that vocabulary word so that we're building that academic vocabulary as we're learning. So in the end, this was a really, really great um, assignment assignment for them and it was difficult for them, but they did it and they did well and I was very proud of them. So, and that was another opportunity for them to interact with the text. It was kind of their third read and it was really successful. So again, if you were interested in this lesson, you can find it on practicallyasl.com. It's free. It's in the blog section and you can find this, the link to the slide deck there. And um, if you have questions, please put them in the comments and look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks.